Good morning. Thank you for joining us for our Wednesday study in the book of Proverbs. Uh, we started with uh, Proverbs chapter 15 last week, and we'll finish up Proverbs 15 today. But let's bow for a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for a glorious start to this Wednesday here in April. We ask your blessing on your word, and may it find a, a fruitful place in our hearts. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe we're at verse 18. A hot-tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. A hot temper is a sign that a person is not at peace within. Only the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, the personal represent, re representative of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, can bring the peace of God to our troubled hearts. When we invite Christ into our lives, he brings with him the peace that passes all understanding, and with it comes the ability to be patient with others and avoid conflict and to disarm a quarrel. Verses 19 and 20. The way of the sluggard is blocked with thorns, but the path of the upright is a highway. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Isn't it amazing how lasting joy, how the lasting joy of a mother and a father is dependent on how good a job we have done in imparting the wisdom and the knowledge that only God can give and is only found in the knowledge of his word. A wise son or daughter brings brings to their father and mother a wonderful capacity to teach their children in a positive way. But a foolish man or woman very often ends up despising his or her parents. Verse 21, folly brings joy to one who has no sense, but whoever has understanding keeps a straight course. It is amazing to me to see the deceptiveness of sin at work in a person's life. Here's a good example. The one who has not found the wisdom and knowledge that only God can give. Can often find great joy in things that are frivolous and foolish. And it will not end well for them. But the one who lives by the wisdom and knowledge that only God can give will find themselves on a straight course that will bring honor and glory to God and blessing and lasting joy to them. Verse 22, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Many of us, including myself, have that lone, man, that lone wolf mentality. I can figure this out myself. I know what's best. I don't need any help. I can figure this out for myself. When in reality, we can't. We need counsel. We need advisors. We fail for lack of counsel, but with the right advisors, the godly ones. Uh, we, we will succeed in the sight of the only one who matters, and that is the God who created us and has a plan, a wonderful plan for our lives. Verse 23, a person finds joy in giving an apt reply and how good is a timely word. The righteous find joy in encouraging others, in providing godly counsel and 
advice how good is and how good it is at important times in our lives to receive a timely word from one who is in touch with the wisdom of the ages verses 24 and 25 the path of life leads upward for the prudent to keep them from going down to the realm of the dead the lord tears down the house of the proud but he sets the widow's boundary sets the widow's boundary stones in place the way of the righteous leads to eternal pleasures at his right hand the way of the proud and the wicked is destined for destruction he not only sets the widow's widow's boundaries excuse me the widow's boundary stones in place he will set ours in place as well if we trust him to lead us one step at a time verses 26 and 27 the Lord detests the thoughts of the wicked but gracious words are pure in his sight the greedy bring ruin to their households but the one who hates bribes will live as we read earlier in Proverbs chapter 6 there are six things the Lord hates seven that are detestable to him haughty eyes a lying tongue hands that shed innocent blood a heart that devises wicked schemes feet that are quick to rush into evil a false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict in the community there are many things the Lord hates because he hates evil and pride wherever it is found but gives grace to the humble may we hate what he hates and love what he loves that is the path of true blessing for us verses 28 and 29 the heart of the righteous weighs its answers but the mouth of the wicked gushes evil the Lord is far from the wicked but he hears the prayer of the righteous over and over again the way of the righteous and the way of the wicked are contrasted here is another example of that truth the heart of the righteous weighs its answers because the heart of the righteous longs to find the true wisdom and knowledge and to apply that truth to the questions of life but the wicked have no concern for finding the truth and therefore they simply gush evil that flows from an evil self centered heart verse 30 light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones who doesn't welcome good news and my friends if you love the Lord with all your heart and soul and mind and strength you will be a messenger of good news to those around you verse 31 whoever heeds life-giving correction will be at home among the wise there's that issue again we can't escape our need for correction for discipline and it is only those who heed it only those who heed it are those who make their home among the wise verse 32 those who disregard discipline despise themselves but the one who heeds correction gains understanding can't read that one too many times verse 33 the last verse of this proverb wisdom's instruction is to fear the Lord and humility comes before honor this again is the theme of the entire book of Proverbs the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and those who are humble enough to embrace it will in the end find 
honor and blessing and well-being. Let's uh, close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, it's been our privilege again to look at the book of Proverbs. There's so much there for us for wisdom for practical living. We look forward to our time again next Wednesday when we will look at Proverbs chapter 16. Bless our time this day, and may we honor you in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Look forward to possibly seeing you in church for worship this coming Sunday. It's Confirmation Sunday, and that's always a lot of fun.